everyone, my name is Nicole and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Uh, this is just a general read for this week. Um, usually with my clients in person, I usually have them interact with the cards, touch the cards, um, you know, get their energy that way. Um, but since this is on a video, this is how I'm going to um, do your energy. So for this, whatever attracts you the most, whatever deck is going to be um, relevant to you. Um, so pick a deck, whichever one catches your eye, and I will read you from there. Also, at the end of each reading, I do pull a couple um, oracle cards, and these help give you advice on your um, upcoming week as well. So I'm going to start off with deck one. Shuffle up these cards here. Angels and spirit guides, please guide me through this reading. Please give me the clarity for my clients that they need for this week. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> So this is kind of saying um, in your career that it might be a little bit of a struggle this week. Um, it does indicate, you know, um, just feeling drained from work, just, you know, not making the great money that you want. It does indicate picking up in your career. Um, it does show that money is going to increase and get better. Um, but this week it does just kind of show, you know, some stress over that. Um, for love, it doesn't, you know, have that bad of a, a vibe. Maybe some conflict, maybe some dis, uh, disagreements, um, maybe a little distant, not feeling that connection like usual. Um, but with the pentacles here, um, that does change. Um, they do love you. They still care for you. It's just like a very rough week. And I feel like it has to do with work. It has to do, um, you know, just with overall stress in their life going on this week. So it's a little rough. Um, so if you are in a relationship or you're trying to deal with somebody that you're trying to get involved with, just be patient with them um, because it does indicate, you know, that they might be going through something as well. Okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of advice cards for this. Spirit guides, please give me some advice on this reading for my clients, and thank you so much. Yes, okay. So this has something to do with your career and your love life, which is very relevant to the reading. Um, I wonder what will happen next, ready for the next adventure. So this is kind of saying that, yes, it's a rough week in, um, you know, work and you're wondering where it's going to take you. Don't let that, you know, stress like take over because it will happen. Um, good things are going to happen. It does indicate, you know, more money and feeling better. It's just a little rough week for you. And then you have for love, you are a rare and free find. Um, don't get too upset if there is conflict in your love life this week. You are good. You, you, you guys have a great connection. Um, you know, and you, there's not many people like you in the world and there's not many people like your significant other. So it will work out for the higher, better. Okay. All right. Let's do deck number two. Okay. Guardian angels and spirit guides. Oh, these cards are just flying out all over the place. Okay. Please guide my clients to clarity for this following week. And thank you so much. Okay. So, this looks like a lot of female energy here. Um, if you are in a relationship um, and you are a female, this does say uh, just calm down a little bit. Um, the energy is overpowering. 
um, you can be having a bad week, don't take it out on your significant other. Um, I know it's hard to do sometimes and we don't really realize it, but this is an indication of just kind of chilling out. Um, for work, kind of the same thing. Don't get overly stressed in your work over, you know, um, just your daily uproars. Like if you're having a bad morning, don't go to work feeling like, you know, you want to leave stressed out, kind of just finish out the day and move forward. The death card, um, it's not what everybody thinks it is. It is just overall seeing that it is a really bad week for um, moods and overall attitude. Um, so just mainly kind of just try to keep your cool as much as possible. Now for career wise, like I said, yes, it's gonna get better for the following week because that energy is, you know, we have queen cards here, which is kind of indicating, you know, strong, you know, forward moving. So yes, I do think it's gonna get better. Um, now, if you are a male and you are dealing with a female um, in this relationship or wanting to pursue a relationship, kind of give her the benefit of the doubt because, you know, she is going through a lot. Um, it shows a lot of stress. It shows a lot of just overall, um, female energy so don't take it personally just move forward okay so there's that let's do some advice cards clients for some advice on this reading and thank you so much for your guidance okay all right so wake up you know, it's your moment. This is saying for work wise, don't, you know, don't be moping around. That has to do with your attitude and the way that you approach yourself at work. Um, do your job, go to work, get it done. Even if you feel like crap, still continue, move forward. You can't go back to yesterday. Um, this is kind of being cautious with your attitude towards your significant other. Um, sometimes people take things very seriously and you don't realize what you say. Um, you can't really take that back. So be mindful and just overall um, try not to let your emotions, you know, take over. So really both of those decks kind of had to deal with a lot of emotions and feelings. I do feel like it is, um, you know, getting towards the end of the week. Um, the end of the month, which really brings out of a lot of emotions in a lot of people. So it definitely, you know, makes sense why both decks are kind of that way. Um, just try to stay positive. The month's almost over. Um, and just be aware of how you treat people this, this week and yourself as well. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you have a good night.